So my family and I were at dinner yesterday when we were talking about first world problems, or as my sisters call them, white girl problems. Now what white girl problems are, first world problems are, are things that are an issue only if you live in the first world and have just way too much stuff. So um, the reason we were talking about it was because my sister heard the woman in front of her at Starbucks say, sometimes when I get an iced coffee, they forget to put a little cardboard sleeve on the drink and then my hands get cold. The other one was, I'm not strong enough to carry all the clothes I want when I'm shopping. So this is the list of best first world problems that the internet could give me. Sometimes for a split second, I fear I've removed my credit card too quickly. My Land Cruiser wouldn't start this morning, so I had to ride a race-built mountain bike four miles over flat terrain to my air-conditioned desk job. I wish I'd lived somewhere with hipper currency. The person has a point though, US currency is really lame. Like, if you look at UK currency, let's swipe it on. It's just all shiny, and, and there's the queen, and, and it's cool, and my sushi's too big to eat with my chopsticks. This is an American problem. I want to go to an amusement park, but most of my friends are too fat. Oh dear. I want another beer, but I don't want to get up because the blanket I'm under is doing such a good job of protecting me from the air conditioning. I love this one. This one was really funny. In my saltwater aquarium, the $100 fish keeps eating all of the $500 fish. It's an expensive hobby, man. You might want to reconsider that one. You could just get like a $2 beta fish and they live for like four and a half years. Seriously, I had the longest living fish ever. I had a beta fish and it lived for two and a half years. And it didn't always get fed either and the water didn't get changed that often. Like, we didn't really look after this fish very well. I don't know how it managed to live for so long. I'm unable to convey sarcasm in a text message. It's too cold to wear a t-shirt and too warm to wear a sweater. Started washing my hands with hot water and now that I'm done soaping up, the water's too hot. I have a cable package with hundreds of channels, but there's never anything good on TV. Which is true. There is never anything good on TV. I have to pee, but my housekeeper's cleaning the bathroom. Life is so hard, isn't it? Despite having two cafes, a butcher's, a bakery, a deli, a pizzeria, a pub, a Malaysian restaurant, an Indian restaurant, and a chip shop, Within a two-minute walk from my house, I found my neighborhood unsatisfactory due to its lack of a sushi option. I just realized halfway into my remodel that I'm not going to have any more room for my second wine fridge. My socks aren't interesting enough. I like that one. My socks are, by the way. My socks are very interesting. They've got stars. Blue stars. My other sock has pink stars on it right now. Because matching stars is just unacceptable. And the last one, and probably the funniest one. I don't know which first world problem I should ironically post onto my Facebook wall. If you guys have a first world problem or a white girl problem that you find hilarious, go ahead and put it down in the comments because I really enjoy them. I really enjoyed finding all of these. I was laughing so hard. The people at work were like, what are you doing? If you guys have any suggestions for videos or things I should talk about, go ahead and put them down in the comments as well because, uh, you know, we can have a little what you like, a little what I like. Compromise. That's how every good relationship works. There is only one thing I'm not willing to compromise on. It's just the best thing ever. And anyone who says otherwise is wrong. They're just wrong. That was a joke, by the way. I'm unable to convey sarcasm in a video as well. It's not true. Now it's time for Random Fact of the Day! Oh, I had a good one as well, and now uh, I had to refilm this video because all you got at the beginning was this. And then we had a little bit of this. Sound check, sound check, sound check! And then we got the thing. But I've lost Random Fact of the Day. Somewhere in the expanse of this book, and I can't be bothered to look for it again. So, I'm gonna have to pick a new one. Do you know that there is approximately one chicken for every human being in the world? I will see you tomorrow. That was musical, wasn't it? Bye.